Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Raw and today what I'm going to be doing is bringing you the video the Game Informer just posted. It's a live interview with Rod Ferguson answering over 105 questions in just 5 minutes. So it's very fast paced but I'm going to stop it at some important parts that I thought is really really cool and are quite interesting to talk about so i'm going to make this video hope you guys do enjoy these i obviously try and keep up to date with all the information that gears of war post and obviously let you guys know uh, straight away so this has just been posted literally 10 minutes ago so hopefully when i get this video up it's quite new uh, so let's jump straight into this and hope you guys can hear this and i will try and stop it at some important parts are you good sport my good sport uh, yes. Fans are going to be cool with this? Yes. 25 years later on Sarah, does Thrash Ball still exist? Kind of. Kind of. Does Thrash Ball still exist? Kind of. So maybe there's another part to the map, or they're going to maybe expand on it, or they're going to come back to it. We don't know, but I am really excited to see that, because I love that map. Um, probably a lot of people do enjoy that map, so I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with that. But we're coming home. Is the Hammer of Dawn still floating around there? As in the satellite in the sky? Yes. As in a targeting reticle, potentially. Is there a name for the new squad? No. Is there a name for the new squad? No. So we've had obviously Delta Squad and we've had obviously the Cogs and all that kind of stuff. But they're also talking about the Hammer of Dawn here. And they said there is going to be a Hammer of Dawn, which is awesome. Because that's quite a cool weapon to use on campaign and horde and all that kind of stuff. I don't personally use it on multiplayer. Um, but yeah, they said there's going to be a targeting. So it's going to be a different kind of style. So... Will it be kind of like a Call of Duty kind of like, obviously, you're looking down from it and you're going to be obviously shooting it down? Or is it just going to be like the one where you aim and it, come, it comes down? Is it going to be like that? I don't know. That is that is going to be obviously in the future we we'll find out. Um, How many playable characters are in the game? Three. Two-player co-op, online, offline? Yes. What are my other two friends supposed to do? Watch. Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> Rod Ferguson, he's got quite a funny sense of humor. So when he says watch... I mean, really, no way is it just going to be a single-player campaign. You can have up to three players, as we saw, JD, Kate, and Dell. So that's really cool to know uh, that there is actually three characters, which is the main ones for the campaign. So um, it probably looks like it's going to be a three-player campaign, or you could probably do it with a two-player, or you can do it yourself. So that's interesting. CP 30? Campaign. Multiplayer? 60. Are they controlled? Campaign is going to be 30 frames per second and the multiplayer is going to be 60 frames per second. So that's good. <laughs> so we'll carry on here. So this is Ben Reeves, the senior editor at Game Informer, interviewing obviously Rod Ferguson, the manager of the Collision. So let's jump straight back into this. Trolls in Gears of War 4 based more on 3 or Judgment? 3. Could you? The biggest the biggest news like to me literally was the movement obviously i'm in essence i mean that doesn't even matter but i mean a lot of my team were saying they really do hope that obviously there's going to be movement and there's going to be wall cancel or not kind of stuff so if he says the movement is like years three that has got good hopes for the obviously the community and everyone that played it um because i don't really like the gears war one movement i really didn't gears war two that was not too bad judgment was okay and gears three was just perfect in my eyes so that is really good news. The perfect movement. Perfect. He, Kate, and Dell just leave Sarah and call it good? No. Sup, bitches? Dom's catchphrase. Is it true you removed all waist high cover from this game? No. That's not true? That's not. That is not true. Movement. Obviously, it's, well, listen, I don't want. I just don't, I'll carry on this. There's still loads to talk about. Oh, honestly, this video is going to go on for ages, so I'm just going to try and keep it going on a bit more, but this is so exciting. Not true. Do the enemies come up from underground? Sometimes. Do they fall down from the sky? No. Do they come at you sideways? Yes. Are there going to be more enemies than those dog like things we saw at the E tree footage? Yes. Do the enemies use lancers? Yes. Is all the multiplayer stuff in this game going to be good? Obviously. Obviously. How is Cool. Obviously. How did you guys make this game? With our bare hands. With Gears of War. No, I mean, <laughs> he's just so corny, but he's so funny. I mean, that's why he's such a likable guy. I just one who respects him, and he's just such a funny guy. And how did you make this game? With my bare hands. <laughs> so that was quite funny. All right, let's carry on with this. Or are you going to finally expand beyond Greek mythology? <laughs> are there still curb stomps in this game? Obviously. Obviously. Did you ever fight locusts in this game? No. Is Jack back, baby? <laughs> no. What's his deal? Robot. Have you ever used a chainsaw? Yes. On a person? No. Will we see daylight in Gears of War 4? You start and end in daylight. Is there any emotion That's left awesome. on Sarah? No. And there's no emotion, guys. Is there emotion on Sarah? No. So that means we've completely went past that stage of where Gears 3 was all about emotion and stuff like that. So we're totally past that. There's no going to be emotion 
which he just confirmed. So that's another thing which is awesome to know. Um, by the way guys, I will be putting this in the description so you can watch it for yourself because obviously I'm talking over this making the video. Um, but yeah, that's really cool to know and the information will be below so you can read it for yourself. No. Does judgment count? Yes. Is there any chance you... Does judgment count? I just want to say one thing as well. Judgment, I really love that game and so does a lot of people. But there's a lot of people that don't like it. But there is good things in that which we can take from there, which I really hope they do. Like obviously the collaterals and free for all game modes, overrun and all that kind of stuff. Are they going to do extras and mix it in and bring that into Gears 4? I really do hope so. So let's see what happens. There could be some characters returning from Judgment. We never know, but we will see. Gears 4 is coming to PC, possibly. Will he Gears of War 4 for the PC? Possibly, which possibly means and probably means yes. So that's good news. Or have the best wins in gaming. Hope so. Does Kate have a sister? Negative space. Would you call Gears of War 4 a survival horror game? No. Would you call it a platformer? <laughs> no. Nor a racer. Nor a fight game. It's still a video game, right? It is a video game. Why do they run like that? Because they're being shot at. So they don't have to go to the bathroom. I didn't say that. <laughs> they're also being shot at. Is the campaign going to be longer than Gears of War 1? Depends on the difficulty. On normal difficulty? Potentially. Is the Carmine Dynasty still going strong? The Carmine Dynasty lives on. Does Carmine have a sister? Negative space. I don't know. Does Carmine have a sister? Negative. But does Carmine, like, does the Carmine brothers still come into the game? He said most possibly. So, is there going to be a Carmine D? Because they've obviously had Carmine A, Carmine B, and Carmine C. It just makes sense to have Carmine D. So, put your names down below, guys. This is going to be quite funny. What is Carmine's name going to be if it starts with a D? Go, comment down, right down below, and we will carry on with this video. <laughs> I'm going for Dom, Dom Carmine, or maybe Derek Carmine. Guns stick to their back. So the same way you carry all of your inventory in your ass in an RPG. Magnets? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that Gears of War movie ever going to happen? <laughs> I wish. Was it Marcus? I wish. For a Gears of War 4, like a Gears of War movie, he wishes. So, I mean, that's quite a bummer. I mean, I wish he kind of said, like, maybe, like, maybe, or give us a bit of tease. I mean, he just says... I wish. But I mean, we, we never know. There could be plenty more in the future. I really do hope there's a movie for Gears of War. As opposed to... Are you sick of all the jokes about these games being brown? Yes. Does Coltrane say woo because Ric Flair's from North Carolina? <laughs> where is? No. He says woo because the Coltrane runs on whole grains. And because of the train? Which always runs on time. Do you miss working with Clippy? <laughs> yes. Did you ever actually call him Dude Huge? No. Remember Keeley's making of Gears of War video from 2005? I do. Did you watch it? I have. So I'm 31 and she's 19. Rod is a walking HR violation. Oh! Do you miss those days? Those were fun. Remember Dom? Yeah. Is Gears 4 going to be funny? I hope so. Would you describe JD as a badass? In training. How many real wars have been fought with chainsaws? That's a terrible way of life. What does Dom Curious mean? It means you played like three chapters as Dom. That's correct. I wrote the achievement. I should know what it is. What is that pun? <laughs> they're either Princess Bride references or they're sexual innuendo generally. So when you look at the money shot, around the world, all water sports, like they're all Princess pretty Bride obvious that we yeah. just... I'm sorry, that was too long. Is the swarm a unified army? No, they don't all follow dress code. Why don't they just build a wall? What are you, Trump now? You can make them pay for it. Oh, with what? <laughs> swarm dollars? Why don't more games rip off Active Reload? They should. But why? S swing meters are hard. Remember that time you worked for 2K? Yes. One thing I didn't actually know, he worked for 2K. That's quite interesting, so maybe you guys knew about that, but I personally didn't. And obviously he's talking about actives, so we know actives are obviously going to still be in the game. That was obviously probably a thing, obviously, because we've seen it in the trailer anyway, but... Briefly. That's Overrun good to know. mode and judgment was kind of underrated, wasn't it? I see what you did there, and yes. Is Underrated, yes. So I was talking about that in judgment, obviously, the overrun game mode and stuff. I think we will see that returning in Gears of War 4 and even better. Like, like it will be even more advanced and much more things to do, I think. So that's good to know as well, because I actually really enjoyed playing that every now and then on judgment. War funny? We try to make I'm it. talking about Al Gore. Oh, then no. What's your favorite multiplayer map from Gears of War? Check out. What's the best? Check out is Rod Ferguson's favorite map. What is your favorite map, guys? Let me know down below as well. Um, just comment there right down below. I would say my all-time favorite map has got to be Blood Drive or River. That was amazing, those maps. Um, I do like Checkout as well. That is a good map. But yeah, River or Blood Drive. This game ever made. Chess? Who wants toast? 
Anyone with a flamethrower? How much of the population was alive at the end of Gears of War 3? Hundreds of thousands. Are the stranded still on, Sarah? Yes, but not as stranded. If you could summarize so, Gears of War 4 in one word, what would it be? Tense. Are the dreams in which you're dying the best you've ever had? It's a mad, mad world. So does Gears of War take place in our universe, or is it an alternate reality situation? Alternate reality. Is what? Alternate reality. That's what I wanted to hear. It's not real. It's not going to be like obviously in our area or like our city world. It's going to be, yeah. I mean, it's going to be fucking reality. It's going to be different. So that's cool to know as well. Are the new features in Gears of War Four next? Yes, and full size testicles. Will Gears of War Four have a lot of jump scares? There will be some. What's the best food? Poutine. Do you guys know how much people like horde mode? Yes. Will the game have over five cameos from previous games? No. That's no for that. But then also he said. Horde mode, will that be returning? Yes. So that is good to know as well. I know a lot of the community in Gears of War, like you go watch people streaming Gears 3 right now, they're streaming Horde. And obviously the community is just massive in Horde. You look at the stats and stuff, folk have played hundreds and hundreds of hours on that. It's crazy, but I mean, it is a lot of fun. So I can see Gears of War 4 just absolutely being amazing with the Horde mode and survival and it's just going to blow the war. So there's a minute left, guys. I'll let you guys hear this. Kurt seen Wizard of Oz? Has Kirk seen the Wizard of Oz? Kurt. Kurt. Who, who's Kurt? How much did Microsoft pay for Gears of War? Was there an 8 in it? I'm sure there was an 8 and at least one zero. $80? It was on the shelf for a while. <laughs> Were you inspired by 50 Cent Blood in the Sand? I was, actually. Really? I like it a lot. I actually played it through. War. What is it good for? I don't know, but it never changes. Is JD short for Juan Dom? No. Plus <laughs> map. <laughs> it's a great song. It's a good song. So JD is Marcus's son. Do we know the mother? No. Not personally? Not at the biblical level. Did Mark there we go, not at the biblical level. So we might find out when Gears 4 comes out and we might actually find out who is the father, uh, well, the mother of JD. We do obviously know Marcus is the father, so that's really good to know. Uh, but the mother, I mean, I'm thinking Anya. I mean, I don't know if anybody else thinks that, but I have seen a few people tweeting like that to me as well, thinking, obviously, talking about the father. They're talking about the mother as well. And they'd say Anya. So let's see what happens when the game comes out, I suppose. Marcus, no? Clearly. How often are you forced to walk and talk in this game? As often as we need to get story across. <laughs> They're still doing story? Dabbling. In the Dark Labyrinth level in Gears War Remastered, why was there Phoenix brand peanut butter in the kitchen? Many artists. Did the Locust kind of have a point? Sure. Does Gears of War 4 end with Marcus joining the fight? No. Are y'all going to pull this off? We're still talking about Gears of War 4, right? Are you going to pull this off? <laughs> yes. Are you guys hitting holiday 2016? We're hitting fall 2016. So what are we doing tomorrow? Going back to work. There we go. What a great guy. Honestly, he is such an inspiration and he's so, it's like so funny and just very calm to talk to. But then we said there, it's coming fall, guys, so that's really good to know. And also, will Marcus be coming back? No, he won't be, obviously. So that's quite of a disappointment. But, I mean, a downloadable character would be fucking awesome to have him as a classic Marcus or the Gears 3 Marcus. Um, definitely, guys, I've really enjoyed that. Um, obviously, question and answers interview. I hope you guys did enjoy that as well, kind of my reaction and a few topics that really stood out to me. Um, I will put this down below, guys, so you can read it for yourself and watch it um, without me talking, obviously. But I hope you did enjoy this video, guys. I'm just trying to keep you up with all the content and trying to keep you up to date as well. So thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy, and I'll speak to you in the next video. Peace.